If you've been to a Publix, you've likely seen one, the big scale that the company has in every grocery store. It's truly a Florida-based novelty. News from Jackson reporter Scott Johnson tells us it's part of a decades-old tradition to give customers a service that is truly free of charge. As America worked its way out of the Great Depression, President Roosevelt said in a statement today that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor and entered a world war. A loaf of bread cost a nickel. Two pounds of hamburger, 19 cents. A dozen eggs, almost a quarter. But inside this little store in Winter Park, Florida that opened way back in 1930, there was one thing that was free. How is it? How does it look? It looks good. As a weight-conscious country pushed through decades where chubby checkers sang, Weird Al Yankovic bellowed, and Queen told you all about, Fat-bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. You might start to understand why after 90 years, Publix keeps these big green scales in their store. Do you use it? No. You don't use it? I never. Because scales never really go out of style. Why not? I don't want to know. Even if not every customer wants to know their weight, <laughs> a lot of them do. And I think the first year that it opened up, I think it's, it served you know, maybe five million customers in that one year. So the scales used to be in the backs of the stores, you know, back in the day. Well, I'm talking way, way back in the day, back when George Jenkins founded the chain in the 1930s. But these people wares, as they were called, are the only real throwbacks in this modern supermarket from a time back when people didn't have scales in their own homes. You won't find these if you head to Publix in Alabama or the Carolinas. These scales are truly a Florida thing. I have one at home, but I like the way in here because it seems like this one is more sufficient for me. And there are only so many left. Dwayne Stevens has worked for Publix. You say you used it as a small kid coming in here. Yeah. For around four decades. As a kid shopping with my parents, I was one of those kids that sat in the baskets, you know, and shopped. He tells me there's a sad reality about these people weighers. It helps you monitor your weight, which is help you make better food choices when you go into the shop. The company that made them, Toledo, stopped production back in 2015. So I headed to the warehouse in central Florida, where no news camera has ever entered, to see the only backup scales in existence. Because you see, Publix bought up all the remaining Toledo 2830 models, honoring Jenkins' vision. He understood that people like to use scales. Maybe two dozen remain here. Eugene Anderson is the handyman tasked with keeping them stocked in Florida stores. He follows this Publix People Wear Repair Handbook and ships these backups if a scale breaks in Miami or Mandarin. But don't worry, these scales have stayed operational for decades. Far back as 1971. Just look at the Publix original, now at corporate headquarters. It still works. Is that the way you're going for? No, I'm actually going for more than that. So you're trying to gain weight? So I'm trying to gain weight. So for the foreseeable future, you can still feel not so 21st century. Does it kind of seem old fashioned to be in a supermarket? I don't think so. If you step on this throwback to the time of typewriters and Tupperware. Scott Johnson, Channel 4. Part of the culture, man. The local station. Yeah, a couple of notes there. It's not just people weighing themselves on these scales. One Publix manager says that the second most common use is people weighing their luggage on the way to the airport to see if it's too heavy. And I'll tell you, one yeah, of the things smart. that stands out to me is uh, that those machines were made in that age where they're going to last forever. I and mean, it seems they like really they are it. so sturdy. And yeah. you saw the guys working on them in the warehouse. It's like, yeah, that might be around for another several decades, right? My husband will be heartbroken. If they go not, away? Yeah, if they go away. He gets on the scale every time we go to the store. That's the last thing I want to do. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> You know, okay. there, there might be something, uh, though, to that idea. If you go in and you weigh yourself and you're not happy, you say you make some different choices on what you buy. Exactly. But I've never done that. No, no. Maybe I should. Too scared. <laughs> Maybe. I'm too scared. Yeah. Oh, well.